What's happening, everybody? Welcome back to One Life to Game. Uh, very happy to have you back here with another NBA 2K16 video for the Xbox One. This time we, we will be doing a uh, rematch of the Western Conference Finals from last season, where we will have the um, Golden State Warriors hosting the Memphis Grizzlies. Really excited for this one. Hope you are as well. So thanks so much for tuning in. I will be controlling the Golden State Warriors. And let's go ahead to the studio for the pregame show. Enjoy, everybody. Thanks so much for watching. The 2K Sports Pregame Show. Hello, everybody. Ernie Johnson here alongside Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jet Smith. Welcome to the NBA on 2K Sports. Tonight, it'll be the Golden State Warriors going up against the Memphis Grizzlies. And for Memphis, they're looking to come out strong and make their mark early. They have to look at this game as a great opportunity to do just that. And Clay Thompson, the son of former first overall pick Michael Thompson, I mean, when he gets hot, he can take over games. And you know what? This guy, didn't he have 37 in one in quarter, a quarter last year? How yeah. incredible was that to get 37 no, in a quarter? Not only that, Kenny also had 26 in a quarter later on. Get out of here. Yeah, he can shoot over anyone wow. with his height, and he has a quick release. You know, he probably has the prettiest shot in the game. I would agree with that. 37 in a quarter. Right. And your career high was? 41. 41 is your career high. 37 in a quarter. Does that impress Shaquille O'Neal? Yeah. What's your high in a quarter? I don't know. I didn't get the ball that much. <laughs> you know who I played with. <laughs> Shaq is great in this game. Uh, As he is in real life. I heard you, Shaq. Uh, I heard you. I can, I can be subliminal. Let's get it to I Kevin Harlan. Right he didn't get the ball that much. I didn't get it to him. the Western Conference on display featuring the Memphis Grizzlies the excitement of the NBA is on the way this is Kevin Harlan alongside Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony so I'm excited as I've been playing this game a little bit more uh, in the past few days just to see now that I've got a uh, fantastic point guard on my team uh, to see if I can have some better control with him do some better passing to get everyone involved so uh, we got the tip off here and that's one by Bogut and uh, <laughs> oddly, we have Draymond Green rigging the ball up the floor. A lot of defense with Conley and Lee. Let's see uh, how things go this game. Oh, that's that's a good sign of things to come if Harrison Barnes can get to the hoop that easily on this Grizzlies defense. Nice little start here for Golden State up to zip with 440 left to play in the first quarter. Clark looking around the league, there's no team that teams want to I like those uh, Clay Thompson big heads in the background there. Quick steal. And Courtney Lee takes it right back for Memphis. A little flop there by Clay Thompson, another steal. There we go. Easy fast break there, opportunity for Clay Thompson. Really deflating for a team to so two quick dunks for Golden State to get up to this four nothing lead. Feels like giving up two baskets to one. And you know the crowd at the Oracle Arena would be uh, electrified after that. Probably uh, some of the best fans in the NBA. Part of it is that they just have a style that matches up well. Jeez. Jeff Jeff Green looks like he's sweating as if uh, we played about. Four quarters and are in overtime right now. Oh. And lots of contact there. Missing the shot. He'll shoot two. Jeff Green picks one up. So look at that, uh, like that spin That's move the there. With the Memphis Grizzlies. I mean, there isn't a team that gives them too much trouble anywhere. Let's in the break league. down the They're defense a little bit. On the road. They're used to playing in tight, low scoring games. And they create that situation with their deliberate style. And Steph Curry, 6'3", and about 195. I mean, a slender frame. You look back to... Uh, look at that uh, realism before I shoot the free throw here of Steph Curry's playing with the mouth guard. That is uh, definitely him. So 
And speaking of this Curtis game does Samuel, not miss too much. He's worked up and bulked himself up. He's added some muscle. He even got up to 200 pounds, I think he said. Uh, but he didn't feel real good, Clark, at that weight. Yeah, it's not about the weight, Kevin. It's about strength. You need it to fight through screens and attack the rim. And he's clearly put on the strength he needs to play at his highest level. And remember, you go back to when Steph Curry was in college, more of a shooting guard at Davidson, but but he's worked relentlessly. Memphis works the ball inside to Zach Randolph. A little bit of a ticky-tack foul there, but Zach Randolph will head to the line for two. Draymond Green picks that foul up. So, yeah, definitely take an opportunity to comment on the video. Um... Uh, Write anything, you know, let me know who your favorite NBA team is. Let me know what you think about this video or uh, about the game as a whole. Uh, maybe things that you've noticed that you like about the game. Definitely want to hear a lot of feedback from the viewers. So, uh, yeah, write, write in and subscribe. Please subscribe. I'd love to have you guys come back for uh, future videos. And that one goes in two from the line that time. Zach Randolph getting up there in his mid-30s, but his game has never been based on explosiveness. So it's all about strength, skill, and craft when you talk about Zebo and, and he's aging gracefully. Now here is Bogut. Somebody want to try to get open there? <laughs> nope. Bad pass by me, though, that cross-court pass. Here's Lee. Finish off the break. Just a great job of attacking on the break. So we're all tied up here at six with about three minutes left to go in the first quarter. Pretty low scoring here for these explosive teams. And Randolph Clark can struggle in matchups against quicker power forwards with those spread forwards. Nice shot there by Draymond Green. Zach Randolph displays a little frustration letting that one go. 9 6 lead here for Golden State. Not typically the guy you'd see taking the uh, early three point shot in the game for Golden State, but still capable of making them. Just over two and a half minutes played here so far in the first quarter. Here's Curry, and it's Gasol with the rebound. The Grizzlies trail by three. Outside Conley. There's the triple. Uh, lucky lucky uh, he didn't make that one because I wasn't really playing great defense in that possession. Curry with it. Outside Green. Outside for Curry. Great passing by Bogut out of the post there to find an open Steph Curry just needed a little bit of room to hit that three and it looks like we're going to have some substitutions get ready to check in in a moment here not sure why uh, Gasol didn't attack the hoop on that one I give him a wide open lane nice strip by the big man and now Curry running the floor all by himself oh unselfish play by Curry but Draymond Green either missed the dunk or it was deflected. Makes it off the glass. And Memphis converts on that uh, turnover there by me. Hanging in the game. Pretty fast-paced start here. And you'd expect nothing less from these uh, Western Conference teams, especially the Warriors, as we've reached our first timeout break at the Oracle Arena to take their first time out here. and you are watching NBA 2K16 for the Xbox One space, the space he needs to play well. yeah, he's unorthodox with patient offense I'm not sure that's really two words you ever see uh, correlated together with the Golden State Warriors but we'll, uh, we'll let it ride for now <laughs> so we got Sean Livingston checking in the uh, NBA Finals MVP, Andre Iguodala. We've got Barbosa. So uh, just Golden State continues to attack you with firepower and athleticism at all times. As you see, uh, Leandro Barbosa get to the basket there for a layup, using his uh, quickness to get around the defense. Great playground, old school there, partner. Here's Hudrick. The Warriors making the shot. Right sets a screen. 
And Beno Udri with the layup there. They've scored several times already here in the first quarter down low. I like that. It's like a running game in football. When you can pound the basketball inside, it also allows you to control the team's transition. Pretty happy last year for Sean Livingston for him to not only get back from his injury. And then looks like he's found a nice home here with the Warriors. And uh, for him to get a championship ring was a nice moment for him, I'm sure. A lot of hard work to get back onto the floor. No one near him. And, it's and a quick four points for uh, Bena Udri. As he was able to get open there on that screen. Left here, in the first quarter. here is Livingston. He's guarded by Udri. Here's the three. Ah, a little overzealous on that shot. A free -flowing first and we've reached the end of the first quarter with uh, Golden State leading... 16 to 12 on NBA 2K16 for Xbox One. This is One Life to Game. Thanks a lot for watching. Definitely give me those thumbs up if you've enjoyed the video. And I would greatly appreciate it. Steph Curry, a player with in the gym range, he told us about his comfort stretching the floor. Anywhere five, six feet outside that three-point line, if I have a dribble, if I catch and shoot, if I have a good look, and I think Coach will allow me to take that shot, and, and it's tough to guard, especially when uh, you see a couple go in, um, that basket gets a lot bigger. I was going to say, Greg, how big must that hoop look to Steph Curry and tough to guard might be the understatement of the day. Uh, I mean, he is just a, an insanely great shooter. I mean, arguably, the, the, the I don't think there's an argument. He's the best shooter in the world. The argument is whether or not he's the best shooter ever. ever. And, and listen, I can imagine there's very few times that, that Coach Curry is not going to allow this splash brother to let her rip. <laughs> And now the second quarter just getting set to start. And the Warriors, guys, what jumps out to you in this game uh, stats-wise? Really active hands early on here as they're able. So as we get the second quarter started here in Oakland, I'd like to try to get Clay Thompson involved. He didn't really uh, get too much action early in the game, so we'll see if I can get anything to to him without forcing it. And it's Conley in at the point guard position. Now here's Thompson, four on the clock. Oh, that was a pretty good, uh, pretty good attempt there. Just so didn't fall through for me. Been this mindset that Golden State wins through offense, but their defense, you know, Gia, you were talking about this, is where the true strength of this team lies. Yeah, I think that's what's really allowed them to separate. Pretty nice defense being played here by Golden State, forcing Memphis into uh, some contested low percentage shots here early on. Now here's Thompson. Jeff Green missing his last shot. Thompson, left shot. There we go. Thompson's got the lead up to six now for the Warriors. I like the recognition of the mismatch there, immediately making the defense. Right, looks like we got a timeout here by Memphis. And uh, Clay Thompson psyched up to score his first uh, shot, in, or uh, get his first shot in the second quarter. See, that's, that's kind of... Uh, that's kind of generic because I've seen this assistant coach, I'm assuming that is. I don't know if that's supposed to be me. I don't know who that is, but I've seen that guy in multiple teams, that same exact dude. So um, maybe somebody can comment on that. Is that supposed to be the person that you are, or is that just a generic assistant coach? Because I think that's about the third team I've seen that same guy on. Now, if it is the same guy, then he's getting paid a lot of money. So, <laughs> And I would love to see his travel itinerary also. It's pretty apparent that... Uh, Memphis is trying to slow the pace of the game down, but as soon as Golden State gets it, they go right out on the break, though, and play their game. He'll make him earn them from the line, and that's what you want to see. 
Good clean foul there. Draymond Green will go to the line for two. Taking over the starting power forward role in Golden State last season. David Lee was injured, remember, in preseason. Green was inserted, uh, and he's been terrific ever since. Absolutely superb. A former second round. Pretty simple to hit uh, free throws in this game. If you look at the bar that is underneath um, the player, so right above the name, as soon as that gets close to the middle, you just want to release the uh, right thumbstick. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. The Grizzlies trail by eight. I'll have to, I'll have to try that with uh, DeAndre Jordan and see, just <laughs> see how easy it is for him. <laughs> to Green. His, his probably never hits the middle. It just. <laughs> and another fast break opportunity here. He'll take it back out as the defense collapsed on me. In terms of that small forward, power forward at, at only 6'7". But he's got toughness. The long arms enable him to defend bigger guys. And, and also the basketball... Nice shot there by Clay Thompson. Good ball movement there to look for an open opportunity. Jumped out to a nice 10-point lead here. 22-12. to There's the screen. Lee against Curry. Kicked by Randall. He's got to hit that shot. Oh, they're just... All right. Vince Carter getting in into the action here. The nice, nice offensive rebound. And he'll go to the line there. Nice pump fake there to get Barnes up in the air. And with Draymond Green, he can defend inside. He can cover on the perimeter. I mean, his versatility at both ends of the floor also a huge asset. And you can't have a higher basketball IQ than he does. It really helps him excel at all facets of the game. Andre Iguodala is checked in for the Warriors. There you go. I'll try to psych him out a little bit by hitting the... Uh, Right trigger and left trigger. Vince Carter hits them both. Although Vince Carter is, he's unshakable. <laughs> yeah, he's been through it all. Look at some old clips of Vince Carter in his prime. Clark, one of the great dunkers the league has ever seen. And for my money, um, the greatest game dunk in pro basketball. Oh, a nice behind the back dribble there by Curry. And a spin, a spin move. And Bogut can't clean up the uh, easy bucket there. Look at Vince Carter there leading the break. Nice pass. Love the assist. I mean, he knew exactly where that bounce pass had to be to create that opportunity. And you think back to Vince Carter starting his career with the Raptors, an eight-time All-Star, two-time All-NBA selection, and he really introduced Canada to the NBA game. Now here is Bogut. He's had some playing time, but no scoring yet from him. Oh, and a tough, tough shot there for Steph Curry, and he just gets the friendly bounce there. Nice touch on the ball. Good screen set by Bogut to allow that play to occur. Now here's Lee. Pass to Conley. He gets that one to fall after missing his first two. All right, Memphis is starting to uh, hit some shots here in the last few moments of the game. Superstar in his prime. So we'll take a quick break here at the Oracle Arena. Again, this is NBA 2K16 for the Xbox One. You're watching the YouTube channel for One Life to Game. I appreciate you stopping by. Comment on the video. Let me know what you think. And subscribe for more content. But he's a steady player ends of the floor makes threes at a high clip and, and competes defensively one of those guys that you don't necessarily win because of but you sure will win with catching up on the changes for golden state fast as is Ely, he's jacked in for bogut barbosa comes in for clay thompson and it's livingston in for steph curry and he thought he had a clear path to the hoop but the defense did give up on that play and cut him off Courtney Lee out of Western Kentucky. Not usually a hotbed of NBA talent, but, uh, you know, Clark, he's having a nice career. He really is. I mean, playing big minutes for the Grizzlies, Kevin, and they really need his floor space.
All right, sorry about that, folks. I don't know. Uh, looks like I had a quick battery issue. And we're back into it here. Facing and his hard-nosed, versatile defensive ability. You know, there's no better sign of how efficiently a team is operating than their assist numbers. And theirs are fantastic. Just beautiful when they play the game like this. Now here's Iguodala looking for his first basket still in this one. From 10 feet out, and Green gets it to go. And the Warriors lead by five. For Memphis, they've gone three of seven shooting the ball here in the second quarter. And the call will be against Sean Livingston. That is his first foul of the game. Here's Hudrick. Dishes it to Gasol. It's good. This time the assist from Hudrick. And that's his strong suit, the ability to find his way through the D and finish at the rim. Livingston. All right, so we've reached the end of the first half. Just a slight lead for Golden State here, 26 to 23. So a so a pretty good game as uh, Memphis was able to cut into the lead there during the second quarter. And uh, go ahead and check out this interview here. How important the physical presence would be in this game. How important is that going to be for the team in the second half? Uh, that's a big deal. I mean, um, just being physical and, uh, you know, make the right plays and then hopefully put ourselves in a good position to win. You've got to match that opponent's intensity, Steph. Thanks for the time. Guys? Thank you, Doris. And we'll be back after halftime for the start of the second half. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Well, two quarters down, two to go. Welcome back. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, and Kenny the Jet Smith as we start breaking it down for you. Golden State found themselves in a close game in the first. At the end of the period, they held a four-point lead. They didn't stop fighting in the second quarter as they maintained most of their first quarter lead and now lead by three at the break. Taking a look at the Warriors, Kenny, what'd you think? They're playing with a sense of urgency, even though they're at home. Sometimes you feel so comfortable on your home court, the other team can jump on you. But they know these fans have their back, and now they're well positioned to build a lead in the second half. Shaq, your take on Memphis. They ran their offense very well in the first half. There were almost no four shots. It was good, smart basketball. The motion in their offense was terrific. They made those defenders work very hard. I like what I saw from them for the most part. And that'll do it for now as the second half of our game is about to get underway. Kevin Harlan has the call. been a back and forth game so far with no ground given through the first half. Third quarter starting here now. One guy who's been getting it done so far, Stephen Curry. And what he gives his team, guys, is an edge. He just lights up an arena when he gets it going. And in that first half, young fella had it. All right, welcome back, everybody, to the Oracle Arena for the second half of basketball action here. And I've got my three-point lead against Memphis. We'll see if we can get that lead to balloon a little bit. But otherwise, it's been a pretty um, pretty neck-and-neck neck game. I had, I believe, a double-digit lead earlier, and that went away rather quickly. So it should be a nice, uh, nice close to the game here. And I'm sorry, I don't know um, what's going on with the controller. I've just put new batteries in here, so I apologize for that. Um, I may have to, if it happens again, though, I may have to switch them out. I don't know. So I do apologize for that. And guys, one thing that we were treated with last year was Steve Kerr's great quotability in post-game interviews and, and pressers. He said all the right things and deflected praise like a coach who had done it for many years. Here's Conley after the made shot from Clay Thompson. 
kicks to Randolph. It's stolen by Green. And up the court come the Warriors on the break. Barnes got the ball. Oh, quick hands on the steal and then just mad hops on the slam. Great sequence for them defensively. Hopefully you guys all like that one. Nice, uh, nice fast break there. And that leads to a early Memphis timeout here so they can talk it over. You know, the Warriors took some because they were just getting back into this game, and the last thing they want to do is uh, let Golden State go out to one of those runs where all of a sudden you're down by 20 points and you don't know don't know what hit you. And also kept their cap situation far more flexible. Now a timeout called by Memphis, and Draymond Green will give you the superstar numbers. I like that strategy. Play through Clay Thompson. So obviously everyone on the floor and the coaching staff realizing that he's heating up and that can open some things up for Steph Curry as well if the defense wants to try to double team Clay Thompson here's green eyes again good uh, good opportunity there for Jeff Green interior defense and Greg that's exactly what he gives you I mean he's constantly making his presence felt around the rim it's Thompson off the drive uh, I thought thought Clay Thompson was in the zone there pretty sure he'd knock that one down they really want to find that igniter here yeah that's right they, Kevin the offense has basically been running in place they gotta get going now here's Conley uh, Conley had a chance there but doesn't matter Passes out to Zach Randolph for the jumper from about the free throw line area. And Randolph's got to get going here. He hasn't really done much this game. Thompson in the corner. Somebody get open for me, please. <laughs> I threw that one away. Too much, too much standing around on offense on that possession. Oh, almost a steal there. And a nice uh, hook there from Zach Randolph. Just too dominant in the low post. Pretty cool animation there. Zach Randolph gets his team going. And Memphis finds themselves down only by three again. Warriors leading by three. Well, I tell you, the Warriors roster fit together hand in glove. They were led by the Splash Brothers, but the front court and the bench really complemented the rest Ooh. of the team perfectly because all of the nice the move by Curry. A little bit of a shake and bake out there, and a spin move to give himself a tiny bit of room to get that shot off. Conley with it, picked up by Thompson. Oh, good, good pick there. Draymond Green pulls it in. And he rushed that one, no doubt about it. The D. Allen's position, you could see the frustration on his face. All right. And one opportunity here for Draymond Green, who goes absolutely psycho after knocking that one down. <laughs> that was pretty cool. I like that sequence there. I'm not sure if that's some form of karate or... Uh, <laughs> just Memphis also letting out, letting loose. Right comes in for Zach well, that was that was pretty special. In for Courtney Lee. Free throw, good green. One fifty-two left in the third quarter of the game, and it's Conley penetrating. All right, nice block. Spates came over for the help defense, and Igadala will just take that one home by himself. So a couple of explosive plays for Golden State after that mini run by Memphis. And they find themselves back up by 10. That's that fast hitting defense, uh, offense. Barnes kicks to Iguodala. Spades the pass to Kerr. One nineteen left in the third quarter of the game. Six on the shot clock. All sorts of time. Nicely done. Great ball movement on that possession. And it looks like Draymond was able to draw over an extra defender, freeing up Curry for a moment. 
and how big that lead is going to get. But again, it's just one game, but nonetheless, a very impressive one. The way they've handled And here comes Matt Barnes. John Livingston, he's checked in for Golden State, and the Grizzlies also with the sub. Barnes, he's so you know that a technical foul is probably just around the corner. Actually, speaking about technical fouls, I've yet to see one in this game other than uh, for a defense of three seconds. Uh, so, I'll have to look and see how I can get one. He feeds it to Livingston. Green against Gasol. And it's Green missing. And for Memphis, they're shooting at 46%, making some buckets. Gasol kicks to Barnes. Some nice passing there. Oh, great. Uh, great dunk there by Brendan Wright. And some good interior passing there to find him. Spates was not able to uh, defend that one any better than he tried to. Livingston kicks to Spates. The feed to Iguodala. It's stolen by Allen. So he draws the foul on the shot, a trip to the line to shoot two. So Memphis with a chance to pull this one back within eight before the start of the fourth quarter. It's his first trip to the line. First one falls for him. So both teams changing it up here. I'm just checking out some details in the background. You could see uh, Steve Curry was giving out some directives a few moments ago. And uh, yeah, the crowd, as they have pretty much at every arena, they look pretty dead until the last part of the game. Here is Livingston. Here's Barbosa. Nice shot there by Barbosa right before the end of the third quarter. And uh, Golden State will take a 10-point lead into the final quarter here. Maybe difficult to overcome. The Warriors on top, leading by 10. Got to give credit to Memphis, though, playing in this type of environment. They were able to get close a few times. But uh, once Golden State goes on one of those runs, you know it's difficult for any team to really overcome. Welcome back as we get set to start the fourth. And I see we have some more people dropping in here uh, to my live stream. So thanks everyone for joining. I really appreciate it. This is uh, the YouTube channel One Life to Game playing NBA 2K16 for the Xbox One. And I invite you to like the video, comment, and subscribe. Nice. Festus Azili comes in and finds a good opportunity to get on the scoring column after a nice pass by Clay Thompson. And here's the fast break. The finish. Oh, oh, GFX Gaming is in the house watching the live stream. Welcome. Hope you're having a good time playing uh, playing Madden. And thanks for stopping in to watch this video. Following the score by Golden State. So this thing's uh, getting away from Memphis pretty quickly here. They're going to have to really open up their offense and uh, just get a lot of three-point shots going to get back into this one. A little bit outside of Arbosa's range there, but Festus Azili get the offensive rebound, loses it. And Beno Udri lays it in. He's had a pretty nice game. He's made an impact off the bench uh, quite a few times already. All pressure leading to the run out, man, it doesn't get much nicer than that. That is sweet, sweet stuff. Now a timeout called by Golden State. Just watching Festus Azili out of Vanderbilt play. He's got the big body inside, moves pretty fluidly, uh, adroit, uh, good footwork. He's got the whole package. Yeah, he does. He's a space eater. He's very strong, physically good frame. 
terms of the load down there and what you said, the fact that he's fairly agile makes him tough. And let's get this update now from Doris Burke, who's across the way on the sideline. Hi, Kevin. Steve Kerr was just going over the plan with his team. His advice clear cut. I want to see you playing to win, not playing not to lose. I don't care what the lead is. We do not back off. Nice. Harrison Barnes there with a pump fake and gets around the defense for that dunk. Uh, obviously, Harrison Barnes uh, listened to the words of Steve Kerr, and he's not playing to lose. Not after that dunk. Conley kicks to Lee. Back to Conley. Upside Gasol. 14 feet away. That's in there. Conley with the assist. Pretty good shot there by Mark Gasol, who's also been pretty quiet for the most part this game. Missing a lot of games with various injuries from the knee and ankle a season ago. He, he can be a quality rebounder and rim protector, but he's got to find a way to stay healthy. And lots of contact there. Missing the shot. He'll shoot two. And Azili, originally from Nigeria, uh, he picked up the game late. Only played six years of organized basketball before going pro. So still developing his hands and offensive skill set, but Clearly, he's got the tools physically to take play. A break. Take a break. Two shots. And take a listen into the crowd as they break out in a Warriors chant with three minutes left in the fourth quarter. Free throw good, Green. And that is a uh, that is a pretty cool um, detail there. I know that when I was playing um, the Cavaliers versus the Heat, if you have a chance to check that video out, you'll want to go ahead and do so. When I was playing the Cavs against the Heat, the crowd at the Quicken Loans Arena started chanting, Beat the Heat, so I thought that was pretty cool. A nice little uh, finger roll floater there by... Stephen Curry. So that was a that's great detail. The only thing is, I wish the crowd would do that earlier in the game too. It doesn't just have to be in the fourth quarter. Um, you know, there should be some different chance that the defense get or that the crowd gets into maybe saying defense or whatever. Let's go team. It, you know, whichever team it is. But it seems like that stuff only happens late in the fourth quarter. <laughs> Draymond Green. <laughs> he is lighting it up today, having a good time. They give up a triple on an open look. And uh, GFX Gaming, to answer your question in the live stream, I just, you know, save up... Uh, save up money when I can to, to get these video games and I'll play it for a play uh, play it for a little bit so I can put these videos together for you guys and there's some games that I just you know can't get into and usually I'll just sell those on eBay or you know take them back to GameStop and get some trading credit and those games that I like I'll uh, hold on to a little bit a little bit more so lately I've been playing this uh, FIFA 16 and uh, Destiny and uh, I've actually been playing on my PS3 a lot lately too. Um, kind of some of the older games like Beyond Two Souls and Heavy Rain. I'm really into those kind of games too. And, but unfortunately my uh, Elgato does not allow me to stream from the PS3. Uh, so I haven't been able to put those videos up. But uh, thanks for the question though. So we're wrapping up this game here. We've got two minutes and 13 seconds left to go in the fourth quarter. Golden State leads 52 to 39. And pretty much just want to waste the clock now. Nice shot by Zach Randolph. And you can see Steve Kerr got pissed off after that went in. Okay, I guess I'll have an easy take there. When you can attack the basket as they do work things inside close to the rim and, and folks those are hot <laughs> you just don't so before we get to the end of the game here um, if you're watching the live stream tell me who you think should get the MVP this game 
We'll find out uh, shortly. Michael Conley with excellent vision on that pass. And Curry. And it's a, a dunkathon right now. Steph Curry is. He's just going right down the floor like this is practice. So you can't think that uh, the Memphis coaching staff is too happy with this effort right now. They've pretty much conceded and are allowing Golden State to have whatever they want. Outside curve. He dishes it to Barnes. And a lay in there for Barnes. And the Warriors lead by 15. So Steph Curry has been involved in... Uh, points in the last what, three or four possessions for Golden State in the sense of either getting him on his own or assisting. You know, Clark, their big advantage was points for the paint. Well, they pounded that ball inside, Kevin, and operated down low to work for him consistently. And when you look back at this one, what an amazing performance this was for Stephen Curry. He was extremely efficient offensively, got good looks, and really knocked down big shots all game long. And a closer look here at the scoring breakdown for the Warriors. Boy, guys, I really like how they've driven the ball to the basket in this game. I mean, they've yeah, that wasn't so easy, as easy to shoot with uh, Clay Thompson. It, the line reached the middle a little bit faster. And I think maybe I was accustomed to shooting free throws with Draymond Green. Azili's checked in for Bogut. Uh, a little bit, a little bit better, but still, still need some work. And it's Livingston in for Curry. You remember Clay Thompson's father, Michael Thompson, a former number one pick out of Minnesota. Growing up, he was the smallest. All right, so uh, let's see here. Bugs Bell, who is watching the live stream, has said uh, Steph Curry will get the MVP of this game. And it's always hard to argue with that. He could probably get him on just about any game. Uh, but we definitely saw a nice performance out of Clay Thompson and Draymond Green as well. So. They are certainly um, candidates that could get it. Yeah, GFX Gaming, you're right. Uh, 80 subscriptions right now, and I'm grateful to everyone, whether you subscribe or not, just for watching the video. Uh, I really appreciate everyone stopping by. But, you know, if you subscribe, that's great too, because you'll get more great content. And uh, just to let everyone know, I'm not sure if you're interested in this type of game but uh tomorrow so sunday september the 27th uh, lego dimensions comes out i will be getting the pack for the xbox one so come on by because i will be doing an unboxing video and then once i get the game going i'll shoot some uh, live stream and upload it as well passes to azili Fast to Cecily with the shot from the elbow. And the crowd approves of that one. And as we're wrapping this game up here, should be the final possession for Memphis. Unless I can zap down the floor here and get something real quick. 16 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Here's Livingston. Iguodala, that's a two pointer. Why not? I mean, <laughs> why not? <laughs> That's the icing on the cake there. Over the last few possessions. Clear case here, partner, of saving their best for last. Quite a run. So we see the Warriors okay, that'll do it, ladies and gentlemen, from the Oracle Arena. Golden State with a convincing victory here in a rematch of last year's Western Conference Finals. And Golden State takes it 63 to 45. And we'll head back to the studio here in a moment for the post-game coverage, along with uh, the MVP selection. And a quick uh, interview with Doris Burke first. Yes, Kevin, thank you. I'm with Clay Thompson. You were able to really help out your team on the offensive end. What enabled such a big night of productivity for you? No, I'm just used to the uh, pace of the game by now. And my teammates do a good job of finding me when I'm open, so. All credit goes to them. I just catch and fire when I'm open. Thank you, Clay. We so appreciate it. Back to you, Kevin. Doris, thank you as always. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. This is Kevin Harlan thanking you for watching. We'll see you later. The 2K Sports Post Game Show.
Welcome back, everybody. Ernie Johnson here along with Shaq and the Jet as we present our Jordan. Is Shaq crying? Game. Stephen Curry. He made all the key plays every step of the way. They depend on him to deliver these sorts of performances, and he helped carry his team tonight. I don't know if there's a fan base that loves their star more than this crowd. Wow. You get jealous, and he feeds off that support. Once they got behind him, he became unstoppable, man. I will say this about Steph Curry. There is no player in the league more capable of single-handedly taking over a ball game than he is. What I mean is, Steph Curry's hot. It's hotter than anyone else is hot. He can beat you with his feet, his mind, his shot. The only thing you can be sure of is that he will beat you. And that's it for our broadcast here tonight. But we're just All right, everybody, pretty cool here. I enjoyed playing this uh, simulation game between Golden State and the Memphis Grizzlies. So thanks for tuning in to One Life to Game. It's been a pleasure. I'll be back on later with some more content. And uh, comment, like, please, and subscribe. See you guys on a future video. Thanks so much for viewing. It means a lot.